Hey Primary 6 Math Prodigy students, Coach Seifel with your daily dose of math mastery. Now we're moving on to question number 2 from the math assessment, math assessment, <laughs> math assessment paper number 2, okay? So question number 2 is, let's take a look here. Question number 2 is, A and B cycle around a stadium in opposite directions. The track is 800 meters long, so that's your distance, okay? A took 5 minutes, that's your time for A, to complete one round. And how long is one round? One round is 800 meters long. And B took 8 minutes, that's time for B, to complete one round. Now the question says, find the speed of A and B in, look at the units, kilometers per hour. Okay, and B, if they made 5 rounds and started at the same time, how many times will they meet each other? Now, part B is very tricky, okay? So I'm just going to do part A first. Let's do the simple one. You should be able to do this, okay? Um, let's do it right now, okay? So first off, we saw A and B cycle around the stadium. What I would do is I would draw, okay? I would draw a very nice stadium. Wait a second, yeah? Okay, this is how I would draw a stadium. So I'll draw something like that. This is how a stadium looks like, I think. And it's 800 meters. Remember that, okay? And remember there were there were two people. One is A and one is B. So A here and B over here, okay? A was traveling at a speed of... No, no. A took how long? Um, A took five minutes. So five minutes here, okay? And B took how long? B took eight minutes, I think. Yes, correct. Eight minutes to complete the same distance, okay? So let's do part A first. Part A asks you... What is a speed? So if you have your DST table, okay, just draw D, S, and T, okay. Okay, in this case, you have what? For both cases, you have your distance as well as your time. So when you have your distance and your time, all you have to do is distance over time. So in this case, to find the speed, all you have to do is, oops, to find the speed, all you have to do is, distance over time. Your distance is actually 800 and your time is divided by 5 minutes. That will give you 160 what? Okay, this is where you must be absolutely careful. 800 meters and 5 minutes, right? So you get 160 meters per minute. Now, but they want you to do it in kilometers per hour. So, the thing you must remember is you must do this step by step. I know a lot of you like to jump steps but don't do this this way, okay? This is much safer. So, 160 meters is equal to how many kilometers? It's divided by 1,000. Why? Because 1 kilometer equals to 1,000 meters, okay? So, very simple. 160 divided by 1,000, you will have 0 0.16. How? Look at this decimal point over here. 1, 2, and 3. So you will get 0 0.16 kilometers per minute. Are we done yet? No, we are not. Now, imagine this. If a person can go at 0 0.16 kilometer in one minute, okay, and what is the answer for hour? Okay, if one minute, one minute is actually, um, sorry, one hour is actually equal to 60 times of a minute. Therefore, since this is one minute, all we have to do is 0 0.16 times 60. So in this case, we're going to write 6, 0 0.16 times 60. And the unit will be what? Kilometers per hour. Let me take out my calculator right now. Okay, so 0. Point, let me show you here. 0 0.16 times 60 will give you 9.6. So the answer is actually 9.6 kilometers per hour. All right, very simple. If you got your right, high five. You are a math prodigy, good job. And I'm gonna move on to B right now, immediately, because B is also similar, okay? So let's move on to B. Part B, let me erase all this, okay? Okay, for part B, okay, for part B, what's going on? For part B, all we have to do is do the same thing. So we found out that their, their speed actually equals to distance over time, and the distance is 800 meters, and the time is 8 minutes, right? So we will get 100 meter 
per minute. But is that what we want? No, we want kilometers per hour. So again, all you have to do is divide by what? 1,000 and then what? Times 60. So in this case, if you divide by 1,000, you will get the answer of 0 0.1 kilometers per minute. Is that what we want? No, because we still have to multiply it by 60 because this is minutes. So if you multiply it by 60, you will have 6 kilometers per hour. Okay, and that is part B of the answer. So if you got it right, high five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. And we'll move on to part C. No, no that's not part C. That's part B. <laughs> okay, for part B. If they made five rounds and started at the same time, how many times will they meet each other? Now, one thing that is um, most probably you would already know from the previous question is that if we have two people going towards each other, what we will see is we have to what combine. Yes, correct. We have to combine this speed. Oops. We have to combine this speed to this speed. Remember? So then we will get the, sorry, this is not a speed, this is time. But remember the time for A was actually 9.6 kilometers per hour. And this was actually, um, what was it? It was 6 kilometers per hour. Okay, so it's up to you if you want to use this or you want to use the other one which is 100 meters per minute. And the other one was what? If I'm not mistaken, it's 160, yes. 160 meters per minute. It's up to you which one you want to use. Just be consistent. You can't use... 160 meters per minute and use the other at 6 kilometers per hour, okay? Now, so if they made 5 rounds and started at the same time, how many times will they meet each other? So first off, let's do the things that we already know. We have to combine the speed together. So we write the combined speed is actually equals to what? It's, I'm going to use, um, to make it simpler for me, since everything is in meters and minutes, I'm going to just use meter per minute, okay? So it's actually equals to 260 meters per minute because... 100 meters per minute plus 160 meters per minute over here, okay? So the combined speed is that. Why do I want to find the combined speed? Because I want to know um, how long it will take for them to meet, okay? So to find the time, we actually have to make sure that we have the DST over here. Okay, to find the time, okay, we have to look for our distance, which is 800 meters, and we have to know the speed, which is the combined speed of 260. So in this case, we're going to write down, distance is 800, divide by 260, and you will get the answer of, let's quickly put our calculator, calculator here, divide by 260, and we will get the answer of 3.0769. Okay, so I'm just going to put that as 3.08. Okay, round it off. So the answer is actually 3.0, okay, 3.069, is it? 800 divided by 260, hold on, huh? 3.0769, yeah. Let's put it as 3.078 to make it a bit more accurate later. Okay, so 3.078 what? Minutes. Now the question is in five rounds. So do you multiply this by five? Mm, not exactly. And I'll tell you why. That is a trick to this question. You do not multiply this by five. I repeat, we do not multiply this by five. Why? Because we need to know how long they are both on the same track, okay? So, in five rounds, okay, let's just make this very clear. In five rounds, okay, how long will it take A to finish five rounds? Five minutes times five rounds, correct? So, he will be on the track for 25 minutes. But for B, for B, it's actually eight minutes times five rounds. And that will be give you 40 minutes, Correct? 40 minutes. So, how long are both of them on the same track? They are both on the same track, not in 40 minutes or 25 plus 40 as most of you say. Just imagine this. They both start at the same time. So, A and B are running together. Okay? Imagine this. They're both running together. Run, 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 run. 10 minutes pass. 15 minutes pass. 20 minutes pass. And then finally, 25 minutes pass. And then A stops running. Why? Because he has already finished the five rounds. And B still keeps on running and keeps on running and keeps on running for another 15 more minutes. So, which, mean, which means can B meet A after the 25 minute mark? The answer is no, because B is no longer on the same track. So, they can only meet within the first 25 minutes. 
So what do you have to do to find out how many times they will meet? All you have to do is take 25 minutes, right here, okay, 25 minutes, divided by the answer of 3.078 minutes over here, and you will get approximately, let me take this out, 25 divided by 3.078, and you will get the answer of 8.122, which is approximately, oops, sorry, equals to, which is actually eight rounds. And that is the answer. Okay, that is the answer. If you got it right, you are a math prodigy. Good job. So, this question was a little tricky, but, you know, you have to use common sense and make sure that you understand the question. Don't anyhow add, don't anyhow minus, or subtract, or whatever it is, or multiply. Do it step by step. And remember that I told you before, all this is all about how do you know if to multiply it or not is because you have to practice. The more you practice, the more exposure you're going to get to different kinds of questions and the easier it's going to get when it comes down to the PSLE. With that, this is Coach Saifu signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.